footwork that I ever owned in my life, just so you know. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of mine. So in today's video, I thought that I'd give you a studio slash room tour um, and also to show you all the art materials that I own in 2020. Um, I truly believe that we artists are a big hoarders when it comes to art materials. Like we always need something more in order for our drawings to be perfect or finished or something like that. Um, we always need some extra material so we always kind of go and buy and collect things just so we are safe that we have them. And I think that um, for every artist, uh, I think that we are more happy to buy colored pencils or any kind of uh, drawing or art materials than to buy ourselves clothes or um, makeup or to do something with our hair. I truly believe that that's, that's a big problem for all of our artists. But anyways, I thought that I share with you all the things that I have and also to show you the room where I work because my room is where I work and where I sleep. I also wanted to show you that you don't have to have like all the fancy equipment, all the fancy things in the room in order to make your drawings look good or in order to make yourself more inspired or anything like that because at the moment I am in the rented apartment where I cannot change many things. Um, this wall for example is driving me crazy so if you maybe have an idea what should I be putting here and not like destroy the wall um, because I think that putting a lot of tape or putting nails inside of it I think that it would be ruined and um, I would be paying a reconstruction of the wall so um, if you manage maybe to have any kind of idea what should I be putting here and not destroy a wall please let me know in the comments down below yeah I wanted to share like where I work and uh, it's pretty basic and I work with what I have and I wanted to uh, share with you maybe you are not satisfied at the moment with like your surroundings and I can show you um, my place and maybe you will change your mind when it comes to your place as well because you can make your place well organized and you can work with what you have so yeah we can start off with my studio slash room and uh, with my art materials and this is me in my room yay um this is the place where i work this table it's adjustable table so it's really nice my chair which is purple because i love purple color as you can see from my um <laughs> art like room tour um my drawing board that i have is here and my also my microphone that I'm using to film my voiceovers for the YouTube. Um, the only thing annoying are these these cables. I don't know how to reorganize them and like this is so messy. My computer, which is really really good, and that is my computer and my desk with my mannequins all over there and the two of the lights that I use at the moment. This is my organizer, my planner and since I bought the this I am so much more organized and I am just putting all the things that I need to do during the day and this is really useful if you want to organize your day much better get the planner because this is really good um of course all the artists needs to have the headphones this is the sharpener that i use which is full as you can see but i really love this sharpener uh it's so useful and the best sharpener that i ever had in my life these are the graphite powders and for the other side I have the charcoal powder which I use sometimes for my graphite pencil drawings these these things this is just random things that I use like the brushes and the blenders and uh, markers and the Uniposca gel pens and uh, pencils and fine liners like you have everything here Next we have, we have blenders and erasers. 
I have and the, the exacto knife I really love the using the exacto knife especially when it you know like when you're drawing with the colored pencils and um, these are the blenders and tertillions you have down some really really small ones um, next we have like all the Faber Castell graphite pencil that I own and this is the one pencil that is for my niece because it needs to be there because it's really important and uh, my brushes the set of my brushes I use loads and varieties of brushes I don't have those highly professional ones because I don't paint much this is a variety of graphite pencil that I have and as you can see some scissors and scalpel like all of those are the things that I use for my papers these are you have like the pencil extenders and uh, pencils and some markers and I don't know why is this pastel pencil here but it's here then you have some charcoal and I don't know loads of things you have an eraser like the pencil eraser um, you basically have loads and loads of things here uh, these are my set of Prismacolor pencil um, I use Prismacolor the most um, of course I use Faber Castell Polychromos but Prismacolors are uh, these are some Caran d'Ache luminance that I bought like I think two years ago but these are just a couple of them mostly they're like white and um, a couple of those because I wanted to try out the face colors and um, these are the Prisma colors that I use and I have also in my third place like this is so useful for me to have because I always like to keep them like this um, because whenever I want to draw I just take all the three of these and, or I just pick up the color that I want or if I want to go crazy I just take all of them and I try to use as much <laughs> color pencils that I can possibly have and can this is something that I never finished I started a painting uh, with acrylics and I just did an underpaint I never finished it I don't know why but I never finished it all right so next what we have is is I have these two drawers here that these are for from my closet because I don't have a storage room at the moment nor do I have some drawers especially for the art materials that I have so at the moment I'm just using these two drawers as my help for the art material so what we have here is we have some this is some of the equipment that I have for the camera and I have a mouse I have the refillers for the mono zero erasers which is really really important because um, I'm using that a lot next we have the charcoal that I never used I don't know even why I bought this because I usually I stopped using this since I was preparing for my college um, then we have some masking fluid uh, for watercolors and I have the pencil blender the zested pencil blender which I absolutely love using and I adore using this then we have a fancy box but of course these are the art materials I have the uh, chameleon um, fine liners they're really really cool they're changing the color so if you change the caps they're changing the color so that's really cool um, I have the watercolors the Windsor and Newton Cotman and I have these, these are from the Gansai Tambi, um, the six pack, but the, my niece destroyed them um, because I never use them and she uses them really, really good. Like she is three and a half and she is already paint, painting like crazy. Um, so that's that. Next I have from, um, I bought this little thin. Uh, I really like this. This is for the Windsor and Newton Cotman tubes. I really like that. These are just for mixing the colors, the, the palette. And I have the Gansai Tambi as well, but my niece uses them more than me. So I usually like to keep them all clean, but I forgot to clean this now. 
and she uses them like basically on a daily basis um, she uses them more than me and I have here the pastel set of Faber Castell so these are the Faber Castell pastels and what we have here is two sets of watercolors these are one of the watercolors is a this is the Winsor and Newton watercolors set which I really love and this is what I absolutely adore like these are I think the best for me at the moment the best watercolors that I used so far I don't know why but I simply love the colors these are for um, from Sakura Koi watercolors and this set is absolutely amazing I personally adore using these I have some ink here um, of course it's from Windsor and Newton again I have a couple of inks here and I have four sketchbooks these are the small ones for sketchbooks one of them is this one I used for the Inktober challenge uh, then we have the Christmas color premier watercolors like water soluble colored pencils these are really really nice like I personally love using them and um, they're really nice they're really nice pigmented so these are really cool and the last thing from here is I have the Faber Castell set of pastels all right that's in the first drawer and in the another one and another one let me show you uh, we have something different in here I have the um, Faber Castell Polychromos set of colored pencils and I absolutely adore them I love using them I especially love using them for the details and for the hair drawing so I'm really in love with them next we have is um, chameleon these are the color tones this is uh, kindly sent to me by chameleon so I can try them out and I am really happy with them I use them um, a couple of times now and I really love them then we have acrylics uh, which I never used that much I never use them that much like I use them mostly for trying them out but I never did anything like anything specific with them I should be using them much more like I've been painting so much more when I was in my college days and when I was preparing for my college days anyways we have the Winsor Newton fixative we have Faber Castell um, these are the graphite pencils we have these are some tapes that I have there the white gouache I don't know why is that there then we have the brush markers and these are absolutely amazing like I love these markers I have the brush markers and the pro markers so this is the all the markers that I have these are the books that I have on my language and on English so for example if I want to uh, learn something more about the watercolors for example or the pastels or I don't know these are the basic colors the acrylics so we have a couple of books there that I like to read sometimes and this set is uh, I bought this recently the whole set of Karen Dash luminance and I absolutely adore them but um, I'm still afraid of using them because I haven't used them that much and I still want to um, I'm still learning on how to use them because I got used to the Prismacolor and Faber Castell Polychromos and now this is something totally different and I am probably gonna do a review once I get into the whole um, how to work on them I'm gonna do a review on them this is the set of gouache colors we have 60 gouache colors here from Arteza and I was so excited to buy them and I never did anything with them like I was just trying them out but I never used them for something like to do something smart with them and these are the last thing that I have here is these are the water mixable oil color I was really 
interested to see like how how is it possible that the oil color is being mixed with water and they work i wanted to try them out and these are the 18 set and i still don't get the idea of how you can like mix the oil color but i was really um interested in that to see like if they're gonna work so um i don't know maybe they're good but i never like did any specific piece on them i was just really curious on how they work but basically i never use them properly so i need to use more of my art materials definitely and stop ordering all right so these are the papers that i have at the moment i'm a bit short with the papers because um i cannot order at the moment anything because of the whole quarantine situation going on in the whole world but um these are my collection of this is my collection of the papers and um of course they're never organized like this um i just uh organize them like this and i just put them like this i can show you what i uh, have at the moment but they're never like this so uh yeah but anyways these are some of my papers that i have so i have the bristol boards from wizard newton the fabrianos the um this is dollar rowney the layout blocks the this is for the oil painting then i have the tone gray then the bristol board the acrylic pads then i have the colored pencils from Stratmore. the tone 10 this is the watercolor um, mixed media this is the gray book with uh, gray papers this is the mixed media and um, on the back i have the couple of uh this is i think the acrylics yes the acrylics from fabriano watercolor this is the pastel paper from fabriano and i have the velour paper for pastel these are my things that i use when i am practicing by myself alone in my room like crazy next thing i wanted to show you is this is the artwork that my niece did for me i think this is so so nice and it uh it stands here on my closet i also have this um sofa that i never use like nobody is ever sitting here this is my horizontal arm tripod that I use to film most of my videos. So guys, that will be all for today's um, art studio room tour slash showing art materials. And I truly hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know them in the comments down below. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel, please do. That would mean a lot to me. And of course, thank you all so much for your support and for watching this. And I see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.